like a cute like a Cuba land. I wanted to ask you about that, Shaka Rock. It's yeah. like it's a Cuba <clears throat> land older than Kush because the world knows before Egypt they recognize it as Kush. So where was a Cuba land for them to say that was I don't know. I don't know if that's a, I don't know if the world knows that. Um and, and the reality is I, I don't um the, the the origin of our cable land, um sorry, from my understanding, the origin of our cable land, the sorry. The, the, the term our Keblan is older than the term Kush. Yeah? That's my understanding. All right? Um, okay, so but, one more but, thing. But, 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 the, but, the, but, but yeah, but Kush... What are you saying about Kush, sorry? That the whole land was known as Kush? No, that, that, not the whole world. Right. I'm, just saying, I'm just saying throughout scholarly and throughout history, throughout the world, throughout world yeah. history, for what yes, we can yes. look at it, for us being the human beings where we are now in the world. Yes. Whether you read the scriptures or you read outside of the scriptures on a secular level, Kush has always been that upper or lower Kush, Akab, uh, Akabu land at no time. Because it's not, you're not the first one, you know. True says that the first, the next light skin, uh, Bridging, the next light skin Israelite Bridging, me here talk about it. And True said, I never get a chance to ask him about it. But mm. I'm hearing you talk about it. And my whole thing is if the world has known. Upper Kush, Lower Kush, Egypt. I mean, Upper Kush, Lower Kush. Mid no, but they upper, but they um, upper Kemet, no, not, and not, not Lower Kush, Upper Kush. Kush was the Lower Kemet. Okay, um, all good. Sudan, yeah. Ethiopia region. You see how you even mentioned Kemet? My whole thing is a Kuba land is something that the world doesn't know. And no, it doesn't. It's, it's, it's quite an obscure. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it, from my understanding, a uh, uh, Kemet land is, 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 is quite enough. And if you get in the book, in which it was mentioned, but the term was popularized by um, Baba uh, uh, John Henry, not John Henry, sorry, Doctor Ben, yeah, Yusuf Ben Yakanan, yeah. So, so, and and so, um, and and, and basically, the, it's on a document, and I'm forgetting, the, and it's and it's documented in a book, mm -hmm. but that document comes from so, so many thousand years before ago, and so we know that. That the the continent there's a, there's a map or something with the the, the phrase Al Kebulan, yeah, prior to the idea of Africa. So for those who took on the term, and I, I, to be quite frank with you, for those who took on the term Al Kebulan, coming out of the inspiration of Doctor Ben, it was not necessarily about uh, a, a, a scholastic uh, surety as to um, the origin of the term. It was more about what it represented conceptually, as in prior to invasion, conquest, and enslavement, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah? you know what? Okay, so... Uh, 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 yeah, so it, it, was symbolic, it was symbolic more than more than exact, right. if that makes sense. Okay. Although, okay. although I have tried to... Yeah, okay. I, I have so tried I to... Um, that. I can, so yeah. it's more of a personal holding, let's keep it black, this is what we may have... Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say personal. It was, it was collective. It was a, it was a part of a, um, an understanding that the movement has at a particular moment in time. Um, and so yeah, so I have done I have done further research into the term Arkebulan, and there, there are other even African centered scholars who challenge yeah and actually say that um, Africa is older than Arkebulan, and there's a, there's a whole debate around that which I won't go into. But okay. uh, my, my my research on that is not is not is not developed enough or complete enough to make to make, you know to answer the, the question that you're asking more okay. fully. If that no, makes I sense. think you I think you did a great job answering it, and my other point to that was another. I don't know if combative will be the word. I don't think that's it. But, <laughs> um, another point that I wanted to bring up is that just concerning a Cuba land again, if it, and which of course you've already made your point on what it is. So I'm, I guess I'm just playing devil's advocate. That's what it mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. um, if it was a Cuba land with so many nations that came into Africa, mm -hmm even within their writings and scriptures, at least we could have at least, okay, if not for us Africans figuring out if it's official, let's mm -hmm. look into the other nations. So let's look into Rome, let's look into the Persian Medes, let's look into the Babylonians, like who came in? Let's look into their writings and what did they call the land? Because that's what, you see, a lot of us forget when we traveled the earth, we called it by its land. There wasn't so much in between how you got Nigeria and you got Lagos and you got da 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 no 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 the land was yeah, the agreed. Land. you walked into a land that was the name of the land agreed you feel what I'm saying agreed. so my whole thing is if other nations came in if we can look within their writings to see when we they came see how they and nobody's writing that might give us yeah. the next level of validity 
based on if a Cuba land was actually right. a name for the name. Can, of can, I, can, I, can, I, can I say, yeah, from an African centered um, scholarship point of view, um, um, and that feeds into the terminologies that I use, like African spirituality, the, 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 the hang up about the, the term African um, it is, is not so important, yeah? Even though there is a debate around whether we should use the term African or not, yeah? What is being defended is the concept behind the term. And so the debate is not around, uh, there's no debate about the concept. The debate is about whether the t what term should we use to describe, to, 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 to label the concept. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know of a, a scholar who done a, a presentation even recently about the fact that we should rename um, uh, the, 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 the continent and them kind of things there, right? It's not, so this is not a big deal. It's, it's understood that whatever, whatever side of the argument you stand on, that the name can evolve um and and um and um and uh and that the, the but the, the term is being used to refer to a concept that has validity that's the most important thing yeah so the, the african spirituality is not hinged on or defined by the phrase african or the word african yeah, yeah we get, we get. Africanization is not determined by the phrase the phonetics african it's not it's not that so that's yeah that's that's that's, yeah, that's we, that. we get that still well, we understand that but all i'm saying is that when you're like we're discussing history and you say like well that ain't african that ain't african or whatever yeah like we have to understand that there's a time in history where there was no like africa was not even a thing no no ancient civilizations right about africa you know what i'm saying <laughs> They're right about the kingdoms in Africa, yeah? We get that book. So the identity of African, <laughs> the, the identity of African and the term African spirituality does not make any pretensions to the idea that um, that people were using the term African in ancient times. Nobody ever says that. Um, it's, not, it's not an argument that's used. No, I'm not saying that. That's not my argument anyway. I'm just saying like, it only makes sense here yeah, to like if you, if you came to be conscious and all that why keep the name that was given to you by colonizers it, it don't make sense. and that's why there are brothers and sisters who who sh who some of them share your point of view or they don't necessarily believe that the name was brought to us by colonizers but but the term they they might believe that the phrase is derived from an indigenous language, but the term came into popular usage with colonizers, so we should still use another term. There's all these 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 these, these, these conversations that take place the, mm -hmm. for the purpose of communication and identification at this moment in time. The, the term African is used. All the information that we have today, um, what's it called? We, we wouldn't have had in the 1700s when brothers and sisters began to affirm this African identity, yeah? And so it's a, it's a stage in the evolution. We're still using the term African today. Um, and, 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 and maybe at the, another point will evolve out of it. Or maybe... Well, maybe, you know, maybe, well, maybe, maybe somebody would you like to say the term so-called African. Yeah, we are so-called African. Um I don't I know I know some I know some Israelites that say so-called African. I know I know some Israelites that say that we're not African at all. That Africans are filthy and disgusting and nasty. We should identify with them. The point is that the, the for, from an African wickedness right there. Right? I mean, from, from African, that's wickedness. The point is from an African spiritualist perspective or an, 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 an even an, 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 an even an even an African scholarship tradition perspective, the the phonetics African are not the paramount thing. When when um when um uh Diop said the cultural unity of Africa of Black Africa, he's less concerned with the term Africa and more with the cultural unity of. Yeah, the term the term for it can change. You know what I'm saying? There, there's a brother done a whole presentation recently, which I'm yet to watch, where he's suggesting a new terminology. But brothers and sisters have have have, have um, come up with the free, with, with the term Azania, which is of Southern African origin. And we, they're saying that we should call, uh, you know, the continent that. Some people are saying, well, we should go out to Kemet and call the whole continent Kemet. It, it's, there's all kinds of different suggestions. Out. Some people are saying we should call it our Kemet. There's all kinds of different suggestions out there. But the, but the, the the identity of the people in question and their connection to the landmass is not in question. That's 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 the point. So I, I'm prepared to lose the term African. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when, once the once the collective process of the movement um, evolves out of that terminology, I'm prepared to walk with that terminology, um, whatever it is, at whatever point it comes about. It's not a problem. And, and this is why, and this is why I feel like it only makes sense, yeah, what's in the Bible, because it would make sense. Just walk with me, any. Try not to look at it through your paradigm for one minute, Shaka. Yeah. 
Wouldn't it make sense that? Yeah. The, the land is called Kemet because it's the land of Ham. Yeah, Cam. Yeah. And then his sons divided up the land yeah, into their own sections afterwards, where we get Kush, Hunt, Mitzvah, yeah, and we get um, Canaan. You get me? So look, now it starts with a man named Cam. You get me? And now we've got these new regions which have popped up. You get me? Like, it makes more sense. No, I don't. I don't. The whole, I don't, continent, I don't, I don't, the whole I continent is coming. Yeah. And then, like, obviously, we'd, you'd have to think of new names for the West Coast or whatever. You get me? But, like, originally, it's one continent with the land of a man and his descendants, just like how Europe is. This, you get me? All of these things. Same thing today. It's just got smaller and smaller and smaller. So no, I, I I would I would disagree with your assertion in the sense of the fact that I I don't affirm the history that suggests that the, the land Kemet was named after the um the the uh the the, the a son of Noah yeah so I I wouldn't affirm that history I I, I understand that's the that's the biblical perspective but I don't affirm uh, that history to be to be uh, historically accurate so no I wouldn't I wouldn't align myself with that I'm I'm not saying you have to I said just. It's just a thought, a thought experiment, isn't it? Indeed. I, 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 and I accept that. That's the, that's, that's the biblical thought process. Right. Mm, fair enough. Yeah. Um, do, you know what the, do you know what the ancient name was for the continent? No, no, um, the, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know that the entire continent has an ancient name. Okay, okay, then the land, uh, like obviously, the, like the land. Oh, land again, are... There are various different names um, for, 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 for the land. Okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Just like the Bible said. Mm -hmm. well, um, yeah. Isa. Where the Mordecai is? He's still there. Mm -hmm. Man, like I don't know. It for me, it just feels a bit weird. Like we we know there's a Roman general called Africanus, yeah, and he's the first white man ever to go and name himself after a land. Like all the other white men go and conquer and name the land after them. You get me? But this one white man decided, yeah, I'm gonna go and name myself after the land. Like it don't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, um, I, I, the, one's the ones can do their research with that is concerned. That I, it's not that he named himself after the land. It was a title given to him. It's not a name. Um, um, a Scipio Africanus is a title. It means conqueror of. Yeah, and that, that wasn't very unusual. So, yeah, it's not a name that was given to him. No, his dad's name Scipio too. That's just... <laughs> But, um, yeah, I don't know, man, like, African, like, like I said, hey, bro, like I said, I'm not half about the name. If, if that's the case, and, and, we, and, and, and we, we didn't know that history and we know it now when we're going to evolve out of it, it's fine. It's not a big deal for me. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we should, we should, we should all see, be seeker to decolonize and get rid of, um, foreign names. And so if it is indeed the case that, this thing is, is 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 has that history then you know we've got to evolve out of it and there are those who are engaging in that process brothers and sisters who are not attached um who are who, are, who don't define um self-defined as african um um uh will, it, it won't it won't mean when when the new terminology comes about it will have no greater meaning to them they will just say well these are the man that's come up with that this the other day and you know what i'm saying it doesn't make it doesn't make any difference the point is that the concept that is being referred to is what is what is important Mm -hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. Really. Fair enough.